do ba do 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 sharky breath. He plays video games. Hello. Welcome back to Night in the Woods. I'm... I'm, I'm apparently B now. Uh, Maid's whereabouts are unknown. I... <laughs> to be honest, I had difficulty parsing what was happening at the end of last time. But it seems I got caught by a cult? It seems like that happened. I'm not sure why everyone's so nonchalant about it, but perhaps some time has passed and events have taken place. I don't know. Let's look at this window. Let's look at this window. I don't see anyone out there. Just wait. He'll be back. Angus? So we still have no idea who this is. And the cops? Um, who what is? I want more information. Uh, big guy. Dirty coat. Or several. They could swap out. Okay, so we're talking about the, the cult again. Okay, gotcha. I can't tell. Great. Um. Cool? Someone's coming back. Uh. Are we talking about one of the cult members is going to come here? Or is that Angus you were talking about who's coming? I, I, listen, I'm, I, I'm a bit lost. I can't check my journal because I'm not May. I... Hi, Greg. So, no word from her parents. Nope. Did you leave a message? That's bad, right? Uh, that's presumably bad. Yep. Yep. Thanks, guys. <laughs> Super big help over here. These two are. Hi, Germ. Are you going to be any more helpful? I played this until I broke one of the sticks. That's harsh. I don't screw around. It was a stressful time, senior year. I, um... How much backstory do we want to share with Germ, who seems to be focusing on the video game? Uh, but, you know, if I tell Germ backstory, you're also telling me backstory, so sure, let's hear it. Stressful times, senior year. I remember. Sorry about your mom. Thanks. Good. Great. Okay, um... Can I go in the other room? I can. There's Angus! So it's not Angus we were talking about. Okay, okay. And Greg, anything else? This game had a great soundtrack. Very high school summer. I listen to like half the bands on it. We're gonna see the blank tones in a few days. Or we were. I don't know. I guess, you know, one of your number being kidnapped does have an impact on such things. Getting dark earlier. Yeah, that, that does happen as we approach the winter months. Luna freeze. Okay, so, got brownies, got sodas. Yes? W what are you... Okay, carry on. Want some brownies? I'm making brownies. <laughs> Thank you, Angus. I guess, I don't know what I'm expecting them to be doing if I've been kidnapped. Like, if they can't actively pursue my kidnappers if I have been kidnapped. I don't know if it's worse than that. I don't know. I know nothing. Anyway, Angus is making brownies. And, yeah, maybe lasagna? Lasagna? Brownies? Uh, let's talk about lasagna. I found one in the freezer. Why all the food? Need to eat. Everyone needs to eat. Aren't you, like, scared and worried? Good dinner makes everyone feel better. I mean, fair. Someone's got to take care of you. Thanks, Angus. You're extremely good. He, he is. Aw, oh, no more than anyone else. I would argue possibly more than anyone else. But anyway, do carry on. Um. Um. Presumably. Wait, this is Greg and Angus's place. For a second, I was thinking I was in B's house because I am B right now, and I was thinking my dad would be over there, but that's not the case at all because we're at Angus and Greg's house. Anyway, hello, Angus. So, that guy you saw in the woods at Possum Jump. Yep. Were those guys like that guy? Yep. Sorta. He had a hat. Hmm. I need to defrost the lasagna. Or do I? Do you cook it frozen? I have no idea. Read the box, man. Good luck. I have no idea. So, it didn't seem the time to comment on it, but I am kind of sad that I didn't get to go to the Historical Society with Greg because I was saving it for last because I was most excited about it. And instead, I accidentally kicked off a series of events that have resulted in me not being here anymore. So, I can look at the couch. I can go over here. What's this? I am so tired. I could, like, curl up on their bed. There's, like, a whole living area under there. It is very college dorm, this setup here. Computer under the bed. Almost traditional. Mm, but I, I'm apparently not allowed to do that because, you know, 
We're busy. Things are happening. I guess let's look at the couch. Guys, this is a bad situation. Yep. Yup. Yes, I'm. <laughs> You're very helpful. Wait, everybody shut up. Why? What's going on? What are you listening for? Or are you just wanting to focus on the video game? Is this going to continue until I push a button? No, <laughs> there was a timer. Okay. What? I heard it too. Seriously, what? What? There was a bit of a siren. What? There's, there's someone standing outside the door. Okay. What? Everyone be very quiet. Says the guy playing a video game. Pretty noisily. Oh my god. Am I back to being May? Is that what's happening here? It seems likely. Yes, I am. Although I seem ephemeral? Am I dying? I don't look so good, and I move very slowly. And I can't jump. Great, so I'm in the woods. Do I recognize this place? I don't think so. But I hear a base. I'm the bass player. So I guess Greg's also the bass player. I guess move towards the bass sound? I'm not sure I'm actually... I'm not sure that uh, that bass music is in Meteor Res. So hard to... Ooh. Okay. We're, we're walking towards... Presumably towards Possum Springs. Am I going to run into that same... Wait. Wait! Isn't this the place where I normally talk to Germ? Isn't this where that normally... There's a fence that keeps me from going any further? Am I on the other side of it now? Can I actually... No, I can't. I'm stuck right here. Okay, okay. Well, I don't... I still don't know how we got into the woods in the first place, but... Okay. Yeah, we're... This is Food Donkey, I'm pretty sure. Is that actually snow? Is it starting to snow? How did I get... How did I escape? If I was just hanging out, not hanging out, but you know, like lying in the woods, how did... This looks more desolate than usual. There's mailboxes, but no houses. I'm hoping this isn't real. I'm hoping this is one of my dreams, because I feel like the houses are supposed to be here, and they're not. And that's concerning. I'm pretty lost as to what's happening, to be honest with you, but I'm guessing I'm in my own brain right now. I still can't jump. I would love to jump. Makes me feel better. Is this where my house was supposed to be? Am I just gonna lie down on the ground here? I am. Okay. Well, good. Uh, oh, okay. What? Um, uh, all right. So we're in the sanctuary. My parents are here. Mr. Chazikov is here. Who is that goat? Do I recognize the goat? I feel like the goat was on a roof someday. No, I don't remember. Pastor K is here. Selmers is here. And some crocodile man is here. And apparently, God is here in this room. I believe that. Times like this, we can call out and know that our cries are heard. <laughs> so I'm, I'm apparently back in town, but I'm unconscious. My, what happened? While we're here, maybe someone would like to say something about May. Am I dead? Wait, am I dead? Wait, what? That'd be nice. May's a good girl. She and I explored the stars. And... And she loved to hear about them. She... I am sorry. It can be difficult. Anyone else? I've always known May as the kid down the street. A little younger than me, but tough. I've been through it in the past couple years. Addiction, jail, rehab, divorce. And... And I just think it's not fair that May, of all people, should have trouble. Where's the God in that? Where's the higher power? This is all a bunch of bullshit. Thank you, Selma. 
anyone else. I'll say something. Who are you? Who are you? May Borowski's always been a menace. And I called the police on her more. Wait, are you the next door neighbor? The one who I threatened to burn down your house? You are, aren't you? I just haven't seen you in a while. Shoot, I forgot about you. I call And I called the police on her more than once. I hope she wakes up and learns a lesson. Well, great. You're very helpful. Thank you. That's all I got to say. What are you even here for? Uh, okay. Thank you, William. I'll speak up. Go ahead. May was a daughter to all of us on the block. Speak for yourself. Sometimes folks is in the wrong place at the wrong time. I hope we find out what exactly happened to her. Mr. Chazikov is on the edge of tears over there. Oh, we know. Her friends told us. Yeah, they were out in the woods at night. Down at the end of Center Avenue. Sentry Avenue. I'm not sure if my dad pronounces it that way. And someone was out there hunting illegally. And they got shot at. And May fell, and... She must have fallen off a million things a million times. All it takes is landing the wrong way one time, and... Oh. Well. I hope she wakes up soon and tells us all about it. You're trying. Thank you. See if she remembers who done it. I'm sure she... Oh, it's the guy from the... Is this not real either? It's the guy from the bus stop. Oh, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to interrupt. You have changed the... I'm in the hospital now. Uh, go ahead. What's happened to, that, to this one? Do we know you? Are you here to clean up? Clean up? Nah, supposed to be fixing the door. In here? Nope. Okay, so... She's gonna be fine. Is this guy God? Like, not the, the cat creature that I saw in my dream, but like the one that... Pastor K... I don't know. Carry on. For today, leastways. What? What? Who are you? Janitor. And off he goes. The house is gone. I'm talking. I'm awake? May! Oh, thank God. What did you say, May? It's dead. What's dead, honey? May, honey? Was I just talking in my coma? Everything. Did they shoot me? I guess they must have. My friends just told everybody that there were people out hunting illegally? That's not what it was, though. Huh. I'm in my room. But I still hear hospital noises. Can I push a button and wake up? No. Yes. Yes, I can. Ugh. Okay. I'm awake. I can't jump. Everything seems normal except for me. Tree in the way. Can't go this way. Okay. Can't go back in my house. I feel like I'm hallucinating this is again. I feel like this isn't necessarily real. It feels real enough. But I can't go to the bridge. If I am awake, I feel like somebody would have noticed, maybe. Then again, it's not like they're gonna keep an eye on me 24-7. Huh? Where? Where, where am I? Do I recognize this place? There's light over that way. I seem to have a choice of directions. Does it make a difference? Couldn't interact with that door. This one's a little bit brighter. Can I... Oh my god. B. Oh my god. May? Wait! Wait! I'm the one standing outside the door? Holy shit, it's May. It's me. You came back to life! I don't think she was dead. Pizza party! I'm feeling woozy. You should lay down. You can sleep in our bed! I feel weird about that. How about the couch? Do I have to stop playing? No, the sound is good. 
Her mom said it's okay to keep her here. I'll drive her home later. So she just, like, wandered out of her house? And apparently that was real. Okay, cool, good. Yeah, and all the way here. Jeez. Lucky she didn't pass out somewhere out there. I sure hope she's alright. Mm-hmm. Both of you, shh! So how well do you know this guy? We order pizza, what, twice a week? At least. From out by the how highway now since possibilities closed, uh, closed down. I thought you two were trying to save money? What? Don't police our lifestyle, B. <laughs> Fair enough, I guess. Okay, well, just as long as we're sure the delivery guy is safe, I can spot him through the keyhole. If it's not him, we'll turn off the light. And I guess hide here until we die. Great plan, Greg. Solid plan. All right, well, as long as there's a plan. Hello? Look who's awake. It's me. It's him. It's the pizza guy. Pizza's here. That's a pizza, all right. I have a, I have a hand. I shall, I shall eat a pizza piece. Oh, boy. Apparently not eating pizza. Apparently. So what happened? We called the cops. Your aunt and some guy fished you out of the woods. You were in a, you were in like a coma. Some guy, would that be the janitor? No, probably not. Probably another member of the police force. I don't know. Did you die? Nah, just took a very long nap. Nice. Uh, yeah, nice. I really don't... I can't, I can't, I can't, I can't. I had this dream. Or like a vision. Or I time traveled. I don't know. I'm like in and out of consciousness. Can you not eat? You should eat. I don't know if I can. Sorry, Mom. You scared us to death, honey. Sorry, Mom. We'll come pick you up. No, it's cool. I'm just gonna, gonna just sleep here. B is there? B is here. Okay. I'll be back in the morning. Have B drive you home. I will. May. I know. Give us a call if you need to come home. I will. Love you, Mom. Love you, sweetie. Oh, hi, Angus. Camera just did a weird thing just now. That probably doesn't help my condition any. How are you, Angus? You want a brownie? Nah, I can't really eat right now. Like, I'd puke, but there isn't anything in there. So I'd, like, puke my actual guts out. Oh, right. You need your guts. For the moment, at least. I do. It's true. Thanks anyway, Angus. I guess I'll go over here. I feel like I should still be lying down, though. I don't seem to be any condition to be moving around. Hello, Greg. How are you? I'm in this conversation, too, now. Dude, wild week, huh? <laughs> you can say that. When we get out of this... I don't know if we're getting out of this. Well, even if we don't, and we're ghosts, we should hang out more. Deal. Hi, Germ. What even was that game? Werewolf. Shred the Gnar 3. Shred the Gnar? <laughs> wow, I played this at Casey's house, like, years ago. I played it. Yesterday. <laughs> you sure did, Germ. At home. Cool. That is certainly true, Germ. I'm not going out there. Hi, B. How are you holding up? They've got Wi-Fi. Nice. It's like we're a real place. At least within range. I don't even have a phone because of this place. It's the 1800s here. Hey, May? Yeah? I'm really glad you're not dead. Me too. 
Yeah. 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 <laughs> All right. I can't access my journal right now. I'm too sick to look at my journal. B. I'm a mess. Can we all hit the sack or gonna like wander around the apartment? I guess I can wander like wander around the apartment. Don't push yourself. I'm kind of pushing myself. I just want to make sure I talked to everybody once. I have I have to talk to everybody until I've exhausted all options. B. You gotta understand. <laughs> it's the way I am. I gotta at least check. I'm pretty sure I already talked to everybody, and then I'm gonna have to make the long walk all the way back from the kitchen. But like, it's gonna be fine. It's gonna be fine. I'm gonna be fine. I don't know if I'm going to be fine. I might not be fine. I hope I'll be fine. Hello, Angus. I'm just gonna look at this oven real quick. That sure is an oven. There's a wall over here. Yeah, that's a wall, all right. Great, feels good on my face. Gonna go, gonna go lie down. Gonna just go lie down. I don't know how I managed to walk here. I don't know why I walked here. Maybe I just wanted to see you all if I was going to die, but like, Hopefully I won't die. What did they do to me? Why am I like this all of a sudden? If I didn't get shot, which apparently I didn't, like, what happened? Was it just that I was knocked unconscious and left in the woods for a couple days, or what happened to me? Right, I can't just go to bed. Hi, B. B, I want to go to bed. Can we all hit the sack? Cool, I'll be right out. Okay, I guess I'll walk back over here again. Because I haven't done enough shuffling around today, clearly. Need the exercise. Hey, kids, can we do light? It's out now. I'm going to drop over. Yeah, dude. Sounds good. See you all tomorrow. Germ's actually going to go home. Are you sure that's safe, Germ? I mean, it's probably safe. Whoever those guys were, they're probably not going to just... Never mind, they definitely abducted someone in the middle of town. And Be careful, Germ. Be careful. You sure it's safe for you to leave? None of this got anything to do with me. Wait. Germ. Okay, no, no, no. I, I don't know if I can be suspecting germ. Like, does it have nothing to do with you, though? You live over there. Where all this happens. You bypass the fence to where all this happened. In a way that I can't fathom, apparently. And the only other person I've seen do that was the ghost. Germ, are you the ghost? I don't know. I, can't, I, I, I know nothing. Go ahead, Germ. No weirdos are following me around. Oh. Right. Unless you are the weirdo following people around, and that's how you know you're not... Just let him go. It's fine. See ya. Bye, Germ. Oh, this is nice. Do you know why I beat down Andy Cullen six years ago? No. We weren't talking then, and I thought it'd be weird to bring it up now, and... I was playing this video game. You were, like, dating ghosts or something? Okay. And I was really into it. Played it, like, 24-7. Until this one afternoon. And suddenly... Like, something broke. Broke? It was just like... Pixels. The characters on screen, I felt like I knew them. They weren't people anymore, they were just... Shapes. And their lines were just things someone had written. They never existed, they never had feelings. This is awfully meta, isn't it? I guess, yeah, anyway. They never would exist, either. And it felt so sad. Like I just lost these real people. And this whole thing we had, it was just me, alone. And like that realization like dumped out of the screen and into real life. Went outside and the tree out front. I looked at it every day. It was like a friend outside the window. Now it was just a thing. Just a thing that was there, growing and eating and just being there. Like all the stuff I felt about the tree was just in my head. And there was some guy walking by, and he was just shapes. Just like this moving bulk of stuff. 
and I cried because nothing was there for me anymore. It was all just stuff, stuff in the universe, just dead. Wow, that's, huh. And the next day was that softball game, and Andy was the pitcher when I was up, and he was just shapes too, just lines someone wrote, like nothing in there. And I was so scared and angry and just, I don't know. Before I knew it, I was on top of him, smashing his face with the bat. Just shapes, red shapes all over the grass. Oh my God, May. Yeah, this is significantly concerning. Um, go ahead. Have you talked to anyone about this? Anyone? I can't pronounce words because I'm, just, I'm trying to process this. Have you talked to anyone about this? After it happened, they made me go to therapy with Dr. Hank. Oh, God, he's the worst. And he made me start a journal. A journal. Yeah, he kind of just said it would help me to be able to get my thoughts down. Did it help? Kind of. Sorta. But since this whole thing happened, when I'm alone in a new place, it's all shapes. Like back at the softball game. I was doing fine at college for a while, but I couldn't make friends. I was just afraid of being outside or around people alone. And there was this statue of, like, the founder or something. A really shitty statue, like all rusty metal. And it was these shapes... And he was pointing down at me, and I was so scared. I didn't leave my dorm room. I either didn't eat, or I ate entire pizzas at once. I downed cough syrup just to sleep all the time. And finally, I got up the courage to leave. And I came home, where everything was fine. Where I knew everyone, and it wasn't just dead shapes watching me. Jeez. Something broke in my head, in my life. I don't mean to be like whatever, but it sounds like you're suffering from some serious stuff. And like, I can help you find some help for it? Dr. Hank already tried. I think Dr. Hank should stick to family medicine and dentistry and the half dozen other things he does. And maybe leave the mental health services to someone else. Like, there are such things as depression and anxiety, and like, I don't know, what you're going through, it exists. I... I thought when I came home, I just... I felt so safe here. And everything made sense for a few days, and then all this. And... 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 Shh gonna be okay we'll figure this out I'm so scared I know we're all scared but we're gonna make it you should get some sleep I well that was quick <laughs> you're good at this I suppose she's exhausted all the time it sort of makes sense that she'd be able to... Hmm. Where am I going? Where am I going? Bye, guys. Where am I going? Love you. Where am I going? The hole in the center of everything. Okay. I'm going back into the woods? No. This is the bridge on the... No? Where am I? Where am I? I can't go back. I refuse to go back. There's nothing stopping me but me. I'm stopping me. Where am I going? Oh, it's the... This is where I saw the cult. Those are the, the rail cars. Why would I come back? Why am I doing this? What? He's right there! 
Okay. What are you? Are you actually a ghost? Or just some guy? What is this thing in my head? Are you doing this? Why is this happening to me? Talk! Fine. Let's do this. What am I gonna do? What? That will okay? Boom. Greg? Is it okay that you just shot that guy? Get away from here, you piece of shit. You're outnumbered, asshole. Ah, uh, you shot me! And we can all use both of our arms. I will personally disassemble you. Whoa, jeez, V. Ah! Ah! Aru? Did you- is- are they werewolves? Did he just howl? Did I- what? You okay? Where did- what are- What- what are- You are such an idiot. What were you thinking coming out here alone? I- I had a dream. This is all because of me. I suspect that's the reason. I suspect that's the reason right there, so I'm gonna say that. I don't think it's right, but I think that's why it happened, so... Oh, I'm sorry. Are you the one putting on a dumb costume and following me around? And kidnapping people, maybe? Is that your fault now? He... it... it's in my dreams. Hey. Kiddo. We're out here. Outside your head. Whatever's going on in there, I believe you. But I'm not gonna let you wander off into the woods to die. No, but... Okay. <laughs> We're going okay. Just accept it. We're all in this now. And even if we weren't, I'd still be out here with you. Me too, obviously. Clearly. Clearly we all would be. Listen. I'm all the family my dad has left. I for damn sure am not dying out here. And you're... God, you're the closest thing I have to a sister. I don't want you to be gone. So you're not dying either. <coughs> that sounds okay. By me. Well, he's wounded. Sounded like he went back, to, to the, back up to the mine. Yeah, what do we do? Follow him, I guess. No, I have to go alone, or... You all wait here, I'll go. <laughs> They're not going to go for either one of these, May. <laughs> these are terrible ideas. <laughs> but go ahead and try it, I guess. Anyway. <laughs> yeah, anyway. If he's up in the mine, we might be able to corner him and... Tie him up? Or something. Can you walk, May? I... I think so. Might be a little slow. I'll help you if you need it. Thanks, big guy. All right, let's go do something really stupid. That's what we're doing. <laughs> Gates open. Oh, jeez. What? We could, like, block it shut or something. Aw, oh, dang. You're right. No. He, it, whatever. I have to go down in there. Uh... I think that he could probably get out no matter what based on him going through that gate, but I do feel like there's got to be a way around. Germ's done it. I've seen it. Anyway, he hit whatever. It's in there. I have to go down there. Well then. Looks like all of his friends are gone. Just one guy. Just one guy. Just one... something. Bang, bang! So we're just hunting him down, whoever he is. This is possibly not the best idea we've ever had, but I guess it's action. Well, this isn't dangerous or anything. <laughs> Nothing to be scared of down there. Just a party. <laughs> not too late to throw ourselves into traffic instead. Oh, let's call back to the, to the college party. 
what would you have said? What would they have said if I hadn't gone to that to that party? No, that wasn't an option. That scene was... That, I couldn't do anything but hang out with B that day. That wouldn't be an option. There's a lever. Hey, there's a lever, everybody? I'm probably gonna pull it. If I can. I don't seem to be able to pull it. I can't do anything, honestly. I can barely walk. Why am I leading? <laughs> this is a terrible idea. I guess I'm the pace setter, though. Oh, what is this? Probably the lever pulls... Get the elevator up here? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Looks like he took the elevator down. So much for the element of surprise. He's gonna hear us coming a mile away. We sure we want to do this? Yeah, mate, you sure? Guys, I don't know if you understand. <coughs> He's in my head. I can't function like this. Everything is dying or dead already. I... I don't know what's gonna happen down there. Okay, then. We'll come out of this together. And we've officially announced our presence. Ugh, that thing looks old. They haven't used this mine in, like, a lot of years. Generations, even. Are you our tour guide now? Apparently, yes. Close as we got. How does it work? We have Possum Springs tourism pamphlets at the <laughs> tourism pamphlets at the shop, and I get bored. This is in the brochure. Apparently, yeah. I'm guessing Angus figured out how it works. Great. Down we go. Well, here we are. <coughs> May you okay? I have my inhaler. No, I I'm fine. It's just like, it's like something huge is on top of me. I mean, technically, you're not wrong. <laughs> is it like asthma? That's how asthma is. It's not asthma, big guy. But thanks. Shh! I heard something! Down there! You gonna be okay, May? Yeah, I'm alright. We should be quiet. Yeah, gotta save up this for the screaming later. <laughs> okay, good. Well, here we go. I feel like Greg should be going first since he's got the crossbow, but that's fine. It's fine. We're fine. Any number of horrible things could happen to us down in this derelict mine. Not least of which is finding the guy we're looking for. But what else can we do, really? Door. Door tunnel. Whatever. Here we go. Apparently, here we go. What is this place? Benches. Remains of some sort of wooden, wooden s structure. Scaffolding, maybe. Ah, oh, jeez. What is this place? Looks like a church or something? Kinda does. And like... Junk. Oh god. Oh god. What is it? It's here. It's here. Oh god. What is it? I don't know, but it's here. It's... Through there. Okay. So then I guess we better go find it. should have brought a light of some sort. I know we we're trying to like, surprise whoever is down here, but it's so dark. It's so dark. I know you're in here. Say something. Well, how about this? Take a couple more steps forward if you want to die. Show yourself. Yeah, asshole, we're like five times scarier than you. Oh, good, they're all here. He wasn't lying. There's a hole. There they are! They're right there! I'm gonna kill them! Hide? 80? Hide, you'll do no such thing. 
is out of your hands now. He shot me! Then I'd say we're even. Little girl got shot at the other night. Yeah, sorry about that. You're... apologizing? It was a bad call. I am sorry. Uh... It's okay? Is it, though? It didn't actually hit me, so... Wait, what the... Who, who are you? Bunch of old boys doing their damnedest to protect their own and their neighbors. Th then... Then why are you trying to kill me? Kill you? Nobody's gonna kill you. All you are... All of you are part of this town. By family relation or just by being hard workers. Contributors. Um... Okay. So we could just leave? Well, he brought you down here for a reason. Who is he? What are you talking about? And he's not gonna let you leave until he's had his say. Well, he's already got an arrow through the shoulder. I mean, 80, uh, 80, I, I'd, whatever, that guy. He's already got an arrow sh through the shoulder. I don't think he's gonna be having much to say in whatever. Wait, do so you think that I'd? He kidnapped that kid at Harfest. He's been in my head somehow. I'm always tired, constant headaches. He's been following me, following all of us. He... Oh, little girl. You don't know what this is, do you? What? Oh, God. I've seen this. Or I've... I've felt it. It was Ed Scudder and Jim Dorney who found it. Twenty years back or so. After the West Mine closed out past Brittle. Vest Schumacher, last supervisor, was out there when the company locked off the entrance. Carved his initials and date in the door. Then you got this mine, the old one. Not even a proper mine. Big hole, copper. Abandoned, shoot, long before any of us were born. Too close to water. And that water was poison. When the first settlers came out here, that old spring used to be right above where we're standing. But that water dried up. 1992 or so, some men from West Mine come back up here to try bootlegging. Practically built a new elevator, got the main tun tunnel cleared. Never found no coal. Just dug deeper and deeper. Till Ed busts through that wall and finds this place. And Jim walks right into that hole. And never hits bottom. Ed calls down to Jim. Jim don't answer. But someone else does. I know you heard that voice, girl. In dreams and in waking times. It's so what brought you down here. What? What is it? So what does this have to do with you or me or anyone? I... These are both very important questions, but I only get to ask one of them, so what is it? Black goat. Not even black like the color. Black like the space between the stars. He's down there, in that hole. Looking up at us right now. He don't talk to you. He... Sings. Why would you just do something a hole in the cave told you to? You gotta understand. In those days, it was the end of the world. Jobs gone, our kids were leaving. Government didn't care, only wanted our votes. Just putting in more regulations, sending our jobs overseas, spending our taxes on lazy people and immigrants. Aren't you a lovely person? Well, we worked ourselves to death. Ah, uh, here we go. God damn, I hate this crap. You old dipshits. You finished? Are you? Yeah, sure. We prayed and prayed up at the church. But when Ed Scudder came back down here and listened, he got answers back. Oh God, I think I know. Answers? Do I know? Answers? I don't know that I know what, what answers. Ed explained it to a few folks and they didn't believe it. But he was persuasive. He had the glimmer. The glimmer? Ones he takes a shining to, it rubs off on you. You can do things. I never seen it. But they said Ed could walk through walls. Okay. 
after Ed talked us all into this, into all this, after that first time, after we picked one out, well, not only was the town hold and stable, but it was almost like we were getting younger, and money came too. Still a few of us left from back then. You threw people down to the goat, didn't you? First time picked, picked, explain picked. First one was Tom Turner, who, believe you me, was a bastard. Just pure trash. We got him down here, and in the hole he went. The next week, flowers blooming all over the hills. You throw them in the hole? They're feeding him. He's hungry like you wouldn't believe. Every few months or so, he starts singing, and it's someone's turn to find someone. Was that what you were doing the other night? The only other option I have is not saying anything, which may be the right thing to do, but you all saw I was there. You all saw I was there. You saw that I saw what you were doing. Is there any reason to hide it? <sighs> no. What happened the other night was a shame. One of our number broke the rules and had to pay up. That was a hard thing to do. I think I'm gonna be sick. We never pick no one who's gonna be missed. That's a solid rule. Drifters, drunks, and delinquents. How on earth do you know? Like, who makes these judgments? You do, clearly. Like, how are you supposed to... You've been... Oh God, oh no. How many people have died down here? Casey? Case did Casey? Casey? The Hartley kid? All he was gonna contribute to society, except a bunch of kids grown up with no dad, was a rap sheet a mile long they threw in the hole. They threw him in the hole. Before whatever sad end he'd wind up at. We did him a favor. You... you killed... Casey? Oh my god. We don't use that word. Well, isn't that nice for you? You know he was taking up business with his cousin, right? You know what happened to his cousin. Burned alive when his little trailer lab exploded. They had to wear hazmat suits when they cleaned him up. That's where Casey was headed. You killed Casey. And you want to act like we didn't do him and this whole town a favor? Oh god, Casey's been down here the whole time. His parents put up posters. Maybe they should have cared more about him before it came to this. Which one of you did it? Greg. He was my friend. All right now, throw it down right now or I will shoot. <laughs> what if I get you first? Bolt sticking right out of your eye. Bang! Bang! You brought guns down here? Dangerous this far out in the woods at night. Basic safety. I... I... Throw it down, son. Don't make this our time. Greg. Dang it. You're monsters. None of this... None of this is happening. We're not monsters. We do it because we love our home. As long as we keep doing this... Did I just jump across the pit? Possum... Did I just jump in the pit? Possum Springs survives. Things can get better. These mines are gonna be humming again someday. Old mills puffing their smoke. You kids don't understand that we lost what our world was built around. Used to be you provided for a family, bought a house. Now you're stocking shelves at the grocery store. Kids leaving more than they're staying. No opportunity here. Old people dying, houses left empty. You ever seen that? A home become a tumbled in pile of wood and plaster? A job become a burned out brick box or a hole in the ground? But we can change that. We can put this pace place back together where it won't be just shapes. I'm going to die down here. Why are you telling us all this? 
because we're getting old. And even with the fringe benefit of good health, we need new blood to carry this on when we're gone. Really? You're like pitching us on this. Were any of you even miners back in the day? Any of you hurting now, financially like? Or is this just some big costume party murder club? For someone's shitty boss who's afraid of dying? That don't matter. Kinda does. Yeah. <laughs> it does. This is real bad. This is insane. Why should we help you? Why shouldn't we just call the cops? The cops are probably in on it, first off. The cops is Mount Molly. I have a feeling if I say this, Aunt Molly's gonna speak up from over there. And my morbid curiosity leads me to test that theory. And say... what? You saw some men you can't identify in an abandoned mine behind a locked gate and an elevator that won't run? That you saw a... hole? Okay, fine. Why should we help you? Because if no one is here to do this... You remember that flood a few years back? You remember the blizzard of 2010? That's what happens. And beyond that, the jobs never come back. The kids never come back. Everything crumbles. Possum Springs bleeds to death. And soon, we'll all be dead. And this town will just be fields and trees. I've seen it. I know you have. I'll understand if you need some time to think it over. So we can leave? No one's gonna stop you. But understand that you don't know who we are. Out there. But we know who you all are. Ain't fair to get to leave and I probably got permanent damage. Shut it, I... 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 I don't know your name. I can't... I, I can't pronounce that. You don't know a thing about what he wants. What he is. I, I swear to God. Let's go. Yeah, let's seriously get out of here. Son, you leave that crossbow. What? Why? Well, I could bullshit you. But the truth is, I just don't trust you. Fine, whatever. It's a piece of shit anyway. <laughs> I, I can't move, you guys. I'll carry you. Thank you, Angus. I have no idea what to even think about any of this. It's just... horror? That's not a word you get to use too often. That's all I've got left. Like everything else in my head is gone. Let's get out of here fast. I don't know if I... Shh. Talk later. Old, old stuff in here. Okay, I'm gonna have to put you down for a sec, okay? Okay. So, Casey. Yeah. I... Yeah. And for what? I, I think I get it. Wow, really? Too tired to explain it right, but... Like... They lost what they thought was gonna happen. Which was what had happened like a long time ago? Or how they remember, or like picture it. And things it gave them. And so Casey and that kid at Harvest and... Sorry, I lost it. That's more sense than I can make of it. They're sad. It's all really sad. You ready to go again, Angus? Yeah, sorry. Wait, everybody shut up. What? I thought I... Oh boy. That seems bad. That is bad. That is bad! Uh, X! Oh, X! X! Not that. Not that. No, just X! Kick, kick the man. Kick the man in the face! Okay, that should probably do it. His head... Mom? That's not my mother, is it? That's not my mother, is it?
please tell me that wasn't my mother. Holy shit! Is everyone okay? May! May, are you okay? Am I? May, say something! <laughs> May. Got you. He's gone now. Shit, how are we gonna get out of here? Shh, give her a minute. I feel air coming in from somewhere. So, we're not gonna suffocate. Okay, well, that's a relief. How do you... I was a scout, Greg. I was gonna say, we got the scout down here. This is... I mean, it's not perfect. By any means, perfect. But, like, could be worse. I was a scout. Hey, Angus. Yeah? I love you. Daw. <laughs> Welcome back, May. You okay? Better now that I got, almost got murdered. Again. Which is... weird. <laughs> that was like the third time in two days? Third time's the charm! Except that I didn't die. Guys, the air's coming from back here. Alright, I'm up. You sure? Yeah. I think I can walk at least. It's boarded up a long time ago. Can we get through? Let's find out. Let's get out of here. And what do I even? Where do I grab? Oh, there we go. There we go. Thank you. Yes, good. Progress. Yep, that's some fresh air, all right. And water. Dude, that's amazing! You can smell water? Hopefully it's not a river. Cave rivers are death traps. Mine river! We're in a mine! Right. Okay, well, I'll just catch up in a minute. Thank you for waiting. I'm coming. Well, there's the water. Hmm. I can see the bottom. I don't think we're going to die in the one foot of water. Right. I guess I'll just go check it out then. <laughs> Alright, I'm on it. Pardon me. I don't know where I'm going. Going deeper because there's nowhere else to go. Oh! Whoa! Sinkhole! 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 Uh. Seems bad? I know what you are now. I think I knew before. But, you know, after I sent that kid to the hospital, years ago, they said I had an anger problem. But that's not true. I was angry because of something else. Something I'd lost. Trying so hard since not to be angry. Got me all defenseless. And I lost more and more and more. That's not getting better. I want to be angry. When I ran home from college, on the bus I had this dream. Or maybe I saw it out the window. Last leaf on the tree. Finally blown off. I'm so scared. All the time. And the fear hurts. Feeling like everything is over. Was over long before I got here. So long hiding. Or trying to outrun this. I get it. This won't stop until I die. But when I die, I want it to hurt. When my friends leave, when I have to let go, when this entire town is wiped off the map, I want it to hurt bad. I want to lose. I want to get beaten up. I want to hold on until I'm thrown off and everything ends. And you know what? Until that happens, I want to hope again. And I want it to hurt. Because that means it meant something. It means I am something, at least. <laughs> Pretty amazing to be something, at least. I can't read that. 
You know I can't understand you, right? No, oh, shut up already. I know this won't save me in the end. But I don't need it to save me forever. I just need it to save me now. So if you're gonna kill me right here, then do it. If not... I'm back. May! Dude, you okay? Whoa. You got all sleepwalky there for a sec. You want me to carry you? N no, I... I think I'm good. I'm just very, very tired. Hang in here for a bit if you need to. We're safe. Uh-huh. Hey, there's light over here. Did you smell that? I bet he did. <laughs> Great voice. I bet he did. I'm... It's hard to interpret which voice I need to be doing after that scene just happened. Did I just talk down an old god? I think I did. Hi. What do we got? We gonna climb that? What is this? Might be a vent or something. Keep the miners from suffocating way back when. Looks old enough at least. Brochure. <laughs> yep. Hello! We're down here! Don't ask us why, please! Could get lucky and someone's out here in the woods at night. I... I can try to make it out. No, I can like... Okay, yeah, are you up for this? Yeah. No, yeah, I'm up for it. Yes. I don't know. I'm like all hyper now. Like dolphins. Hyper like dolphins? No, like, when your body is like, oh, whoa, I almost died. And you get all hyper because you're filled with dolphins. Okay, I am seriously confused. Are you okay, May? Endorphins. <laughs> endorphins! <laughs> Thank you, Angus, for interpreting. Endorphins, yes, endorphins. Ah, okay. There, thank you, those. Okay, well, ride those dolphins up out of here. Ugh, that's assuming I can even do this. We'll watch. Okay. All right, we're doing this. Can I talk to any of you before I go? No, I can't. That's okay. That's all right. I got this. I've done this sort of thing all the time, forever. I'm extremely experienced in this one specific region. Plus, I'm pretty sure one of you would catch me if I fall, right? I hope. The music is great. And very promising. Very optimistic. I shouldn't have done it so fast. I wanted to listen to that music more. Wait, the well. I've been here. When have I been here? In my dreams! I'm out. This place. Huh. Hey, May. Germ? Germ? Yeah. What are you doing out here? I live right up the hill. I heard Greg yelling. We were all stuck down there. You were at the bottom of the old well in my backyard? It's been a really bad night. Sounds like it. Got any rope or anything? Or something? Yeah. Good. Can we use it? <laughs> Can you go get it? Gotta be very specific with germ. Hey, May! Yeah? Was that germ? Yeah, he's getting some rope. What is he doing out here? He lives here. In the woods? <laughs> Apparently. <laughs> Just count us as lucky. <laughs> My entire body hurts. That was a long way. I brought some sodas. You're the best, Germ. You need the sugar and the caffeine. Oh, uh, anyone else want to get far away from this well? Yup. Germ, can you, like, I don't know, seal up this well? Hmm. I got dynamite. <laughs> germ. What are you, germ? <laughs> what? Yeah, I mean, I can get some. How big an explosion is that? I mean, not small. Okay, that works. Thanks, germ. Yeah, thanks, buddy. Um, okay. Bye, guys. Well, that was surreal, as everything is with germ. 
There goes a weird, weird guy. <laughs> he saved our lives! Germ is good. Germ is a good man. Germ is back? I thought I heard him. Never mind. No. I thought I heard him. It strikes me that we just murdered all those dudes down there. Did we? Did we actually murder them? I don't know that we murdered them, necessarily. I mean, aside from... Well, we're locking them in the Earth, but then again, they have supernatural powers, right? And the one at the top had the three things on their head, which... Wait a second. Who else? Like, I'm pretty sure that that's... I need to see my mother's hair immediately, but did my grandfather also look like that? I don't know. Anyway, you were saying, sorry. How do you figure? Well, I mean... The elevator's broken, and we caused a cave-in. That was self-defense. I guess, but we did cause the deaths of like a dozen guys. No, 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 they're all still alive down there. I can tell somehow. Oh, God. Yeah. Jeez. Well, we're blameless. They attacked us. One of them attacked us. So we're worrying about, like... It's morally gray. We're not murderers. Like, if we'd had a choice, we wouldn't have done it. I would have. <laughs> Thank you, Angus. Uh. What? They, like, killed people. They were trying to get us to kill people. They, they were. Angus has a point. Screw them. I don't even believe in hell, and I hope they all go straight there. Jeez, Angus. Well, that's what I think, at least. Hmm. This is like that trolley thing. What trolley thing? Okay, I'll explain it if we keep if we keep walking. Trolley problem? Greg's never heard of the trolley problem, I guess. I made it home. Hey guys. Uh. Are you there? Anyone? Okay, I'm gonna type anyway. Hard for me to say anything smart about what the hell even just happened. Easier for me to get it all out here. And I need to talk. Even if you jerks are off doing whatever. None of us asked for any of this. And it didn't happen to us because we're, like, special. You can work as hard as you want, but... The universe is gonna keep doing what it does. And I don't think any of us deserved all this. This is all stuff that started long before we were born. It's all, like, moving so fast, and you're dropped into it. And you're just trying to grab onto something. All of you are what kept me from floating off tonight. Also, you kind of killed that guy to save me. Don't think I didn't appreciate that. Lol. I don't know if I'm ever going to understand what all just happened. I hope it stopped. I just feel right now like all I want to do is wrap my arms around all of you. Not just because I love you, but to keep you all together with me. Wrap up, wrap up into a ball and no, no one can hurt us. Sorry, I'm rambling. Germ, buddy. Germ, you don't even use Messenger. I guess I'm just typing at you wherever you're at. Apparently under a streetlight somewhere. B, you're definitely something. I'm so sorry about all you've gone through. I don't even understand all of your problems. But if I could, if I could, I'd fix them. I'd fix all of it. And I'd buy the tools to do it from your store. Or like, borrow them, at least. A better friend would buy, but I'm what you got. And I'm glad. Yep, there it is. Now I'm just going to erase all that. Oh shit. <laughs> Guys, I was just kidding about a lot of that. I'm really tired. I don't know what I'm saying. Log off, May. Log off. I didn't talk about Gregor Angus. I'm sad I didn't talk about Gregor Angus. Changing of the seasons. Shorter days, longer nights. Wait. There's another day after that? The game is continuing after that. I figured that was the end. But it's not the end? Wait, what? Hang on a second. Wait, do I, wait, do I, do I stop here? Do I keep going? I have no idea. This feels like it's the end. Should I continue? The 
Listen, I have no idea. But I guess I'm going to get up just in case the game's over. Oh, not that. There we go. I'm awake. I'm awake. Hello. If it looks like... If it looks like this is going to continue, then I might stop. Oh! It's the shapes thing. It's the shapes thing. I.e. the reason why I left college. And then it's me in the hole. Which for the moment is averted. If there's actually a black goat down there, then maybe it's not permanently averted. But let's just hope it is for now. Ah, uh, um, hi. Anybody here? Thank goodness, hi. This guy's gone forever. Casey. Hey, May. You okay this morning? I'm not opening the pickaxe today. Greg informs me we're doing band practice, though. I'll see you there. Okay? Hey, man! Nice messages last night. I mean, like, really. You massive dork lol. Back band practice today. Because I feel like we need to do something normal. I'm at the Snalkin. Hope you're feeling okay. Sincerely, Gregory. Boy message, it's good to be alive this morning, that is all. So long, Casey. Never got to meet you. Never will. Hope you're not actually, like, falling eternally in the hole forever, conscious in the process. I hope not, anyway. Weather surface. Snow in the forecast. Are you ready for what's coming your way? Ominous way to put it. Seems appropriate under the circumstances. Hello, Charcoal. Okay. Okay. This seems like the start of a normal day. Which I'm going to go ahead and take to mean that I guess I should do one more episode? I feel like we're close to the end. But... Wandering around the town can take like 45 minutes on some days, so... Yeah, I guess I'm going to stop here. It feels weird. It feels weird, but I have no way to know whether it's the right thing to do or not, so I guess I'm doing it. And if the next episode is real short... Sorry about that. <laughs> Regardless, thank you for watching. Next time, I guess band practice, huh? See you then.